What's going on, everyone? Today I'm back with part two of Shanghai 最牛的高中生 Last week I just talked to too many amazing students who shared so many amazing tips about how to get a great TOEFL score and how to get into top universities all over the world. That I just couldn't fit them all into one video. If you haven't checked out the first video, make sure you go back and have a look. It's got some incredible information. But right now, we're going to talk with three more amazing students, and they're going to share with us their secrets for getting into the university of your dreams. I'm Chelsea, and、uh, I'm born and raised in Shanghai. I just graduated from SMIC.、Uh, my name is Isabella Gong.、Uh, my hometown is Shanghai. I am studying in Yanhua International Education School in Shanghai Lingdong Campus. So my name is Shirley, and I came from Shanghai, China, and I just graduated from Shanghai World Foreign Language Academy. I have been studying online, like in in tenth grade for for one semester, and this you know another semester. So actually, I lost almost one year、oh, from、no. over school. So that's pretty、yeah. sad for me personally. What school did you get into? Going to NYU, kind of like my dream school. So、oh. I'm just really excited to like get into this school. Did you get many other offers? I was Wisconsin, Madison, and Florida. Florida Ohio State. State. Ohio State's good too, yeah. Boston University.、Whoa. It ranks pretty well. I believe it ranks like in the 40s. And the place Boston University is at is actually a university city. There are、yeah. also Harvard University, MIT, Northeastern.、Yeah. So I believe the academic atmosphere is. Better in Boston. I got like few offers from the U.S., one from Canada, and three from the U.K.、Uh, University of Cambridge. Wow. Oh wow!、Uh, I applied for four schools in U.K. and got into a lot of them, and I also got into、uh, University of Toronto in Canada.、Okay. Planning to do a dual degree program: biochemistry and molecular biology. Going to the industry of like either medicine or biomedicine, or maybe like professor in university or teachers in high、um, school. I was hoping you were gonna say like one of the people from the crime TV shows where you like analyze all the evidence. And- yeah, forensic. It's really cool. I'm going to study natural sciences, physical, because I want to study physics in the future. Well, my major is media, culture, and communication. NYU is like the only top twenty to thirty schools that. Is strong in media major and also has an ED option. What was your TOEFL score? Like my final score is one hundred and ten. Took it like two or three years ago.、So、even two or three years ago, you had one ten. Highly high. Uh, I got a hundred and seven for my online home edition TOEFL test. For me, like I practiced a lot of TPOs, like past TOEFL questions. It's important that you practice a lot, and also speaking. You got to make sure you can you can say the amount of information you needed in、mm. a limited amount of time.、Yeah. And writing, you got to have your own ideas and have the ability to do critical thinking to get logical points and evidence. I got one hundred and thirteen, thirteen for、uh, the composite one, and it's thirty for both reading and listening, twenty five for speaking, and twenty eight. For writing, for reading, and for writing, you could think a long a, a lot of time, and you could revise it. But for speaking, no, you cannot revise anything.、Oh, no. So that's very hard for me. What's the key to learning English for you?、Um, I think the key is like to have the initiative to practice spontaneously and to find. The way of learning that suits you best.、Uh, a couple years back, I really wanted to like improve my writing.、Uh, I would watch my、like, New York Times or other newsletters every day. I would just like take notes on the dictions, the common use sentence structure, or even like the use of punctuations. And I would、yeah. kind of like force myself to apply those things that I just learned. Like hardly no one will make fun of your accents or the word you're using or your programmer. Yeah. So just open up your mouth and speak to your teachers or friends or even parents if you want to to practice your English. Reading more English novels it will help too. Even though you might be a little bit overwhelmed at the first time, but as you read and you kind of like guess the words meaning, you kind of know what the whole story is about. For me, the biggest thing is that just keep challenging myself and just. Like for for people who want to improve, probably they just have to take these difficulties. For example, like when I was preparing for my last TOEFL exam, 
I do this speaking like from from 10 a.m. to like 6 p.m. and I just keep speaking, speaking, speaking. And I wanted a reporter. Every time when I listen to the recording, I will know how embarrassing or how bad <laughs> or there's any improvements. Yeah. And then I would just know how to improve next time. So I just keep okay. revising and revising until I feel like okay, this one, this version is perfect. And yeah. I send this perfect version to the teacher, and they will give me some feedback. And I just keep on revising and revising until they also think, okay, this is good enough. One thing that's like important is that you have to show this, you know, genuine passion for this major. If you if you're clear what you're gonna study, right? One thing that really bothers me is like writing the main essay because mm. like, I revise it for like more than ten times. I have to say, mm. just get it right. One thing I did is to like reference to all the key activities uh, in my essay. My essay curriculum, like my research program, my summer school, and my like most of the other activities are like all focused on journalism and media. Like if you have really targeted extracurriculum and essay, I think that's like a really eye-catching spot. One course at the summer school, I get to like interview and like write an article about Middle East refugee. By like writing that article, I just like, my goal of like studying media and journalism, I just be strengthened because like I wanted to do this thing to get more, more voice, get heard. And many times you just have to, you know, step out of your comfort zone, show your uniqueness to the admission. Like don't be general about it. That probably is the biggest challenge for students to get into any top universities or any universities that you really want is to never give up actually, just to persevere and especially persevere on the subjects or the fields that I really like. For mm. example, I, I, I really like physics, especially astronomy. So I did a lot of research and um, activities about astronomy. And I think that probably the professors just discovered, wow, this this students really love physics and probably she's um, good at this. I did one research with a PhD at a Shanghai, Shanghai Astronomical Observatory. Wow. What are you most looking forward to at NYU? Because one major feature of like NYU is open campus. So. Huh? Like, Every building and dorm is gathered around Manhattan. So I think I'll be looking forward to like go around Manhattan while on my way to school. Making new friends and, and like go to the city of Boston and also like studying some new skills. I actually want to learn how do you get along with others very well because I really had a hard time um, cooperating with others. What are you most afraid of? First time after all I'm being completely, you know, independent mm. in a foreign country and in a foreign cities. I heard that Boston University is like the most like strict school with GPAs in oh. the whole US. Really? And it got like the most difficult finals in the whole US too. When I'm alone, so far away from home and in a foreign country, like everyone is local and I'm the only foreigner. I just yeah. feel like I'm, I'm pretty afraid that I may not get along well with them, although I know Cambridge is a very diverse community, but mm. still. There you have it. More secrets revealed. Who would you like me to interview next? Please leave me a message below or reach out to me by email. Special thanks to all the students who participated in these interviews. I wish you the best of luck in the future. You guys and girls are going to do amazing things. That's all from me for right now. Lots of great English content coming in the next couple of weeks. But until then, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Watch your Michael Asher. Shatsu. Zaijian.